Okay, so what you're looking at here, hopefully, is a, a, an unreleased version of EVGA's Precision. Um, we've extended our API and they've adopted it. We've made the same API, of course, available to all of our partners. Um, EVJ is the first that we've, uh, we've seen a build from. So this we're gonna try to give you in your reviewer package so that you can try out some of these features. But remember, this is really, really raw, okay? And I think the UI is gonna change, but I'm just gonna walk you through, walk you through a few things. Um, first of all, if you click on the, uh, you know, this, these are the normal sliders, right? You can do power, you can do temperature, you can adjust the offset. And of course, uh, you know, our, ours is a monster GPU uh, overclocker, so 200, 250, 300 megahertz, feel free. Um, and then uh, if you click this little bar here, you will go to your voltage frequency curve. Okay, so the blue is your chip's voltage frequency curve. And uh, if you click on it, you know, if you kind of look at it, you can uh, get a little bit more information, right? You can kind of say, hey, what's, what is my voltage and what is my frequency? And what GPU Boost is going to do, it's going to ride up and down on that blue curve by default, okay? Now, you can come in this little guy and you can say, okay, give me uh, basic mode, okay? In basic mode, what you can do is you can say, I would like that much, which it might be 200 or it might be 100 that is actually 125 megahertz, and then you can apply it. Okay, when you apply it, it takes the same, whoops, takes the same value, copies it across your whole voltage curve, right? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> yeah. That would have been, yeah, thank you, thank you. Definitely, no, 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 come on, thank you. Oh, no, 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 come on, no. Um, so, this is showing you like the basic mode, right? Everybody's done the slider, this is the slider. As a matter of fact, if you tweak the slider on the front page, you get the same result. Here's the next mode, uh, you can do linear. Okay, now linear says, okay, I wanna pick a point on the front, and I wanna pick a point on the back, and I want to interpolate between them, which just means I'm gonna generate a line, and the line is, god damn it, <laughs> god damn it. All right, the line is going to be applied, right? Each, each segment of the line is going to get a little bit taller, and that tallness is going to be applied to your stock VF curve. So it's actually not that hard to use this, but you need to play with it. You need to kind of say, where am I? What's going on? So the last mode we've got is uh, uh, manual mode. So like I said, if you really want to get in there and tweak, you can you know, adjust every single VF point, and of course, then you can just apply it, and you're off to the races. So what this is doing is allowing users to effectively carve out their own relationship, their own relationship between voltage and frequency. And of course, our GPU is going to ride up and down that based on real-time monitoring. Okay, so this is EVJ's tool, and uh, what it's doing is really kind of cool. Let's look at this guy. So what it's starting to do is say, hey, um, let's test all these points. And if you look at the little white bars, uh, it's showing you the progress, right? It's clicking up a little bit, and the green bar on top is sort of what it thinks it's going to be. So as it crawls along, if it doesn't crash and it doesn't like hard lock the system in front of me, embarrassingly, then it will finish that curve and tell you, hey, based on your current aggression, because you can make it more aggressive or less aggressive, this is in fact your VF curve, right? So it's pretty cool. You don't you don't actually have to do much. You hit go. Yeah. <laughs>